Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to service your Simplicity S65 uh, floor nozzle. This is the one that has the headlights on it, so this is the carpet and the hard floor nozzle. So just follow along. So the first thing you want to do is you can flip it over and right here you have a little spot where you can use a flat screwdriver or a coin and uh, you can just turn that to the unlock position and and then your end cap will come off and, and then from there you can just lift your brush roll out of place here and so the first thing we're going to do is get this brush roll cleaned up now um, you can grab a pair of scissors um, I, I usually use a utility knife and get all the hair cut off so I'm gonna do that real quick there's a little channel in here that's made for kind of easily taking a knife and running it uh, along here so that you can um, pretty easily cut this hair wrap out All right, the other thing you wanna do is just pull this end cap off. You can kind of wiggle it as you're pulling out. And you just wanna check for any um, hair and debris. So um, this has got just a little bit of dirt. So I'm gonna just get that kind of cleaned out with this little, with a little screwdriver. Um, there is a small little washer that goes inside the cap here that will come out. And you just wanna make sure you get that put back in place when you're pushing it back on. And that's what you want to see is you want to see it spinning nice and freely so this brush roll design is pretty good with uh, with regards to preventing hair from getting to the bearing because you can see at the end it's got a flange and so that keeps hair from wanting to jump up over and go and make its way into the bearing so generally these stay really pretty clean that same thing is on this side too so next what you can do is um, go ahead and pop your wheels out so you can get a small screwdriver these front wheels will oftentimes get hair um, clogged up around them so you can just pop these out and you can slide these out and then uh, I will use these are kind of like a felt uh, material so I'll use like a little um, like a little wire brush that uh, I can usually get these uh, if there's anything stuck on them you can get it cleaned up so some something that's somewhat abrasive like a bristle brush or something like that will usually help so you can get those, get the hair cleaned out of that and then just pop them back in place by pressing down firmly. I do this pretty regularly because you'll just always get, no matter what, you're always gonna get some hair um, wrapped around your, your wheels, really on any vacuum cleaner. I see it on pretty much every vacuum that has small wheels. You're gonna get some hair wrapped around there. And the wheels are necessary so that it rolls smoothly on your floors. So you're just gonna to have to get used to, you know, routinely pulling, popping these out and, and cleaning them. All right, so the next thing you can do is if you can wipe out the inside of here. Um, so just take a, uh, just a rag and a little bit of soapy water and uh, we'll clean that up. We're not doing like a disassembly or anything, so you want to be careful. <clears throat> you usually want to spray your rag and not spray directly in there um, so that you're not going to get too much moisture. Um, and the area you want to avoid is you don't want to get a lot of water um, here in this location where the little drive assembly is. All right, looking much better. So the only other thing that I will do on this machine is um, if these blue pads um, are really nasty um, then what you can do is as well there is you can take a rag and get it wet with soap and water and you can wipe these and get them cleaned up pretty good and sometimes they're gunked up with a lot of like grease if you've got pets and stuff then uh, you'll get some pet oil in there and that will mix with the dirt and then they'll get kind of like caked so you may have to, you know, kind of break that up with some sort of bristle, like a toothbrush or maybe even a wire brush, depending on how bad it is. But you want to um, um, just take like a microfiber towel like this, and hopefully you can see, uh, you can see the dirt I'm getting off of that. 
see this little strip right here so and you can just wipe it really good and you'll get a lot of that dirt removed on on these blue strips and that's going to also help it push nice and smoothly on your floors anything you some you, know, you might get some buildup um, here around your your nozzle base here as well and so you can do the same you can even wipe these felt wheels if if they're uh, a little dirty you can wipe them down too you just don't want to get stuff super soaking wet okay and then this little little blue blue part as well this stuff cleans pretty good and then uh, the last thing that I'll do is we'll also I'll also wipe the wheels down as well. So depending on how dirty they are, sometimes uh, like a green uh, Scotch Brite pad cleans the wheels up. If you've got pets and you've got kind of sticky wheels, then a green Scotch Scotch Brite pad with some soap and water will uh, clean these up perfectly. So just scrub them real good and then take a pat uh, a dried rag and wipe them down like that all right so you can check the clear part and you can see I've got a little bit more stuff on the other side and if you're trying to get in those corners one trick is you can stick your rag in there and then you can stick a screwdriver and kind of push it into the crevice real good and then I'll get your little detailed spots all right now um, just go ahead and get your brush roll. You're going to reinstall it the same way. Uh, this part here is going to be facing up right here. So drop that back in place and put your cover back on the, your end cap piece like that. There's a, a little catch right here and that's going to go in like that and then just lock it in and you should be good to go. So I hope this helps and Till next time, have a great day.